Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you, church. God bless his people. God bless the body of Christ worldwide. Amen and amen. I want us to pray, child of God. Let us pray. Uh, some things are in my spirit, man, as a prophet, and I want to release it to the church. Let's pray. Zegaz Gandaska, Shata Kotibidinu, Edo Shate, Lanta, Bregadaneska, Ede Kegedegedenu, Ribro Gedenu Sketu. Let it be, Lord, even according to your will. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. Amen and amen. Be very careful in this season, child of God. Be very careful of people who accuse other people of the things that they are guilty of. I'll say it again. You ever meet somebody in life and they accuse you of something that they are guilty of to take advantage of you, to manipulate you, to destroy your life, just like what a narcissist in church will do, pastoral narcissists. They peek upon you. They see your destiny. They know the power of God upon your life. They don't want what God has deposited in your life to exist. So what do they do? They lie against you. They try to manipulate you. They gang up against you. They get their friends to come and help them fight with you. They give evil prophecies about you and say it is God that sent them to say those prophecies. Sometimes most of these people are having a strong mental problem that you can connect with envy and jealousy. Be very prayerful. I'm going to read two scriptures for you of what happened in the days of David the Bible says in 2nd Samuel 16 verse 23 it says and the counsel of Ahithophel which he counseled in those days there was a man in those days in the days of David his name was Ahithophel he went and they had a counsel against the life of David and his men if you read the Bible God will use this scripture to speak to you the Bible says was as if a man had inquired of the oracle of God. They would lie to you and use the Holy Ghost as a backup. They would lie against you and use the Holy Ghost as a backup. They say God told them. The Holy Ghost told them. Jesus revealed it to me. Be very careful of men who have designed a destruction in their heart towards other men. And they use the Holy Ghost as a backup. Be very, very careful. This is what the Holy Ghost is revealing in this season. Men who destroy one another using the Holy Ghost as a backup. God told me this. God told me that. Things that cannot be verified in the spirit realm by any other true prophet of God in the land. Yeah, the Bible says in the mouth of two or three witnesses, let the matter be established. Okay, child of God? Don't fall prey. Don't fall prey for any wizard in the land. There are witches and wizards who have entered the house of the Lord to do evil against God's people. You know, I was telling the people that I will cease to be a prophet if Tinubu become Nigeria's president. I will take upon that topic next time when I teach on what God is doing in this season. Okay? So, so was all the counsel of Ahithophel. I'm still reading now, 2 Samuel 16, 23 both with David and Absalom. I read again 2 Samuel 15, verse 31. 2 Samuel 15, 31. The Bible says, And one told David, saying, Ahithophel is among the conspirators with Absalom. And David said, O Lord, I pray thee, turn the counsel of Ahithophel into foolishness. Let me pray for you. Father, every counsel of a wizard, of a witch, against the righteous in the land every counsel of a wicked man a wicked woman the liar the thief the manipulator the divinator the sorcerer every counsel of jezebel in the land the counsel of the wizard in the land by the power in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth we return this counsel back to sender in the name of jesus christ of nazareth no weapon formed against the righteous in the land shall prosper and every tongue that rise up against us in judgment, we condemn it. So be it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.